Let's talk about how to use Apple TV on your iPhone because it may be a bit confusing to be honest because there is a physical product which you can buy for like 150 bucks which is called an Apple TV and you can connect it to your Apple TV but you also have this icon which says TV with the Apple logo in it. So how exactly do you use it on your iPhone? And of course, the first thing is if you don't want to use it, you can just hold down on it and remove the app from the home screen or delete it at all. Then if you delete it, you're going to be able to download it for free on the App Store. However, it's not really a free app because you can use it in three ways. So the Apple TV can be used for the Apple TV Plus subscription. So this is what it looks like so you get like some uh, access to to tv shows and stuff like this so if you open it up you can see uh, all of the new shows and stuff like yes you can watch many different things and if you want to do that like to watch the original stories it's like a streaming service so if you want to do that then you need to be an apple tv plus subscriber which you can get for three months for free but you then are gonna have to pay about a six or seven dollars a monthly or depends on what plan you choose so you're gonna have to pay for the apple tv plus subscription monthly and you're gonna have access to the streaming platform however there are other ways how you can use this apple tv app because you can also watch some content for free in here but it's very limited probably the only thing that i know about which you can watch for free here is the apple event so in case you just search for it, you can watch all of the Apple events here for free and you don't even need any subscription or anything. You need to just log in with your Apple ID. But if that's your case, if you just want to tune in once a year for the new iPhones, you can just use the Apple TV app and watch it through this. So the first thing is paying monthly for the streaming service. The second is watching free content, which is mostly Apple's events. And the third option is to actually rent or buy a movie. Because here on this iPhone where I'm signed in with my Apple ID, if I go to the Apple TV app, I can search for pretty much any movie or I go here to any category. So I go to kids and family, I'm gonna tap on this one. And here is a movie Home Alone, which I can buy for $9 or like 10 euros or four for renting the movie out and there are more options of course you can open it in a couple of different apps for example if you have the disney plus app you can watch it there as well you can watch the trailer for free and you can see you can buy it rent it the only two options or get the disney plus app so it depends but you can see that you can buy it you can rent it and watch it through the apple tv app once you purchase it it just ties to your apple id so no matter which device you use or if you buy it or or watch it on an actual TV, you will still have access to your collections of movies. So this is just how it works. Plus, one more option for you is here at the bottom, you can see Watch Now, the originals, which is the Apple TV Plus. Then is the store, which I showed you about where you can buy or rent movies. And here you have the library, which can literally display your already purchased movies or even your own home videos. It doesn't matter what that is. And the way how you can actually move videos in here to this app is only plugging the cable in, connecting your iPhone to a computer, then using iTunes to copy and sync all your videos to make them appear in the TV app. It's a bit more complicated, but yes, you can technically put your own videos and, and clips and movies or whatever you already have downloaded here on your device and have it here anytime you want. So yes, it is also works the same way, but for example, if you wanna like have an MP4 file of a movie or like a video, then you can also just store it in your files app. You can download the third-party files browser or use the Apple's one. So you can even use the Dropbox in here. For, there are plenty of options. I mean, you can also put it in the Apple TV app, but you can also just, for example, leave it in the Photos app if you really want to. So yeah, the possibilities are there. By the way, if you'd also like to know how you can watch music videos in the Apple Music app, then check out this video right here in which I'm gonna explain it to you and show you how that actually works. So check it out and see you there.